I don't know about that Jaguar. She says Solar is with her. He's still there. They spend the holidays together. Looks like if they spend the New Year together. Looks like if he ain't got no place to go. And he's spending the rest of the time with Jaguar until he can figure it out. So Jaguar decides to, I guess she's the one who called up Shaka. And they are talking, reminiscing. And also planning for the future. I'm going to be interjecting my commentary in between. Everybody mad the solar is here? Why are they mad? I don't know. Yeah. Mad the we, was the, we was together last Christmas. Why are they mad about this Christmas? <laughs> they want to spend Christmas with you too, Jack. I think that's what it is. They mad because they can't spend Christmas with you. God. And that you got to do you, that you care about your, your nephews. <laughs> And who is mad because Solar is there? Maybe TJ. I can't imagine anybody else being mad that Solar is there. You and Solar are grown people. You do whatever you want to do. The only person I would imagine would be upset might be TJ if she still cares about Jaguar, and that's about it. My goodness, how much do you care about your nephew, Jaguar? That's what I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know how much you care about your nephew. Your roadside nephew, a grown man that you didn't know but for two weeks, and then he was sleeping in your car with you. I mean, the slackness of it all. Is not a pip. Jaguar trying to rewrite history like if we didn't see what we saw. She was cutting up and acting a fool. She better go back and look at some of them videos she put out there. She says she didn't do nothing, but she ended up in handcuffs. Well, go back and look at them old videos. You're going to figure out why you ended up in handcuffs. Jaguar is saying that Legina Gold stated 
that Genesis put her face in the place of some young woman who she rented a room to. It's very troubling, but this is all alleged. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's kind of troubling, isn't it? If Genesis indeed did that, because that would mean she's taking in people just to essay them. If she's not making it up, you guys send me the link to the video so I can check out the video because I believe she's making it up. Even Shaka's wife said, what? Because she never heard it before either. When this type of information is revealed about a person, you have to really weigh who is telling the story and the motive behind it. Shaka is stirring the pot. He said, allegedly, she took it when the girl was sleeping. Well, guess what? That's not proven, and Jaguar didn't say that initially. Shaka threw that in, and then Jaguar ran with it. My goodness, people are dangerous. Listen, I'm not swearing for anybody, okay? Because people do the darnest things. But I'm hoping it's not true what she's saying about DJ Genesis, because we are living in a climate of everybody being sued for this SA. So I'm hoping it's not true what she's saying about DJ Genesis because that's a big lawsuit that this young girl, whoever it is, allegedly she threw her weight on, can sue her. I am saying it's not true. I'm calling Jaguar out as being a liar. I'm hoping I'm right. No, but not a girl did an interview with the Nefarious Fairy Boys. For that young woman to do an interview and make this claim tells me maybe DJ Genesis told her to leave and she wanted to get even. That's what I'm thinking. That's a possibility. People do that all the time. They make stories up on you that's not true. How many innocent people are sitting in the penitentiary right now for stories that are made up on them and they cannot prove their innocence? So they're rotting away in jail. Oh. In, the, in, in the coffee. Mm. And said that... Um, Daddy had it. But she didn't want to say anything because she needed a place to stay. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe she didn't say anything because it never happened. Maybe she's making it up. Listen, I'm not saying yay or nay. I'm on the fence. I would have to see if this thing goes to court. The evidence that comes out. That's what I would be waiting on, the evidence. Well, that's the first time I'm hearing of it. Did you guys hear that little tidbit? You know, listen, how you doing some shit, won't it? <laughs> Genesis would know after growing up in that Buick. <laughs> so, you know, oh, and, they have, and they have all of the, and now the, the, the outcry, the victim outcry to 
Katina and Katina say that this is what they happened, and 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 apparently put nigga throughout the street, huh? and then huh. he just he displaced or something or whatever. I don't know. And now the crazy bitch Pam is gonna come in and rescue her. So, Jaguar can't be mad if Pam chooses to let this young woman stay in her house, the one who supposedly DJ Genesis asked to leave. Look, if you're in a position to do good towards somebody else, your fellow human being, you do it. That's a good Samaritan thing to do. So, Jaguar can't be mad. It sounds like if she's mad... Because she don't have a steady place. Maybe she needs DJ Genesis to take her in. Damn, wow. I don't know nothing about none of that shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me put you on the team. Okay. When we got robbed here in Vegas at the studio, uh-huh. the damn robbed but robot 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 because y'all robbed Genesis and all of y'all are working together and you got a national robbery ring. And they got to say, let me the shit ain't true. I know, but you don't need to say it. They're going to be like, oh, he said it. <laughs> you know, they're cutting You know how these niggas do. They cut cutting niggas on your face. I'm, I'm, you know, don't get me wrong. There was a lot of things that was going on with carbonation. There was a lot of things that happened. But that time has passed. Absolutely. With different people. And that that is not the sum of who y'all are. Absolutely. That's what they... I think Jaguar probably got root, root canal or something on that right side. Because she sure do have a list. And it's right on that right side. Something's going on in her mouth. Maybe she needs to go check it out. Try to hold us in that box. Yeah, they're, they're just want to keep you locked in there. And it's, yeah. and, and it's crazy. Because apparently on the internet, your sins are never forgiven. Never forgiven. <laughs> you gotta and no matter what you do, you're always going to be that sin. Yep. No matter what. They you hold do. you to it. They gonna hold you to that forever. But they gotta hold me to shit. <laughs> they gotta hold me to a goddamn thing. Right. I've already confessed my sins. I've already admitted my wrongs. I, I, I'm paying my penance by doing what's right. If you want to do what's right, Jaguar, start by repaying people the money for Dalladelphia and they're not getting no content. Start by sending money for the salve. Send their money back for the salve that you owe them or send them the salve. Start with that. And also... What about this free concert that you were going to be given to give people some type of appreciation for all the donors that sent you money when you needed it? Start with them three things before you start talking about you trying to do the right thing. You ain't trying to do the right thing. You know, so I just, I wanted to say to y'all, happy new year. Don't sweat the small shit. And stay far away from the church. Why, 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 is, why is Genesis lying on y'all? Because she wanted us there still. You know, she didn't want us to leave when we were there leaving. Well, you know, I, I, I'm sure she misses sitting there posted a metro door with a glass listening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she missed getting cooked for and having people in their house that just this real genuine no, love. And a, and a you mother that can raise her children. Beautiful people in your environment. It's always good to have beautiful people surrounding you. You know what I mean? Wait a minute. Feel beautiful. Why are you going to sit up there and say they talking about and Shaka was doing this? Walking around the house with no shoes or demanding. That's not it. That's the one thing I love about Shaka, that laugh. It's so infectious. When he starts laughing, I'm smiling the entire time. He's got such an infectious laugh, and I can't blame him for laughing as much as he laughs because I don't know if any of you know that he almost died of cancer. And he had to, he said he cured himself by staying away from meats and that kind of stuff and sticking to a holistic diet and just hitting the beach, having that sun on his skin all the time. 
and uh, I think they had given him like a year or something. It was crazy. But check it out. Uh, I think Real Life Street Stars or Real Life Productions have the interview with him telling his story. It's, uh, it's quite a, a journey that he took and he continues to be on. So I don't blame him for laughing. When God gives you a new lease on life, you got to find the joy in small things and not take life as serious as other people. No, because he came a long way. It's none of your business. Listen to me. I was in that house. <laughs> <laughs> I was right around naked. And I read your work before we let you do it. Like the way Molly comes in there and staring at you every... She was staring, she was staring through your clothes with them on. There was no way. <laughs> But that's true for most of us, isn't it? That we hold on to so much stuff. We got a lot of baggages that we have not let go of. And we keep holding on to it. Why? Because it becomes very comfortable to stay in that negative space. So we got to learn how to let go. And let God take the rein and fight our battles for us. Once again... What did I tell y'all around this time last year? Hey, you did so get out of that crazy bitch house. Why you call on camera or something there, mother? <laughs> Run around taping Legina sitting down with the bomb by her all kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, that, that was the day y'all got into that fight. Yeah, because I cut the ass out and said, who the f*** are you? Fuck the bomb <laughs> And what you supposed to be doing? What you doing? Was you, what, did you tape it? Hoping that she would say something so you could sell the content? Hey, because that's what she was about. Content. What the f That's funny. All the content she about. The views look very lonely on her channel. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> and she's so hurt because when she go to art, it don't resemble the same thing. It like you, you I, I, when, I, when I see the, the thumbnail for the blue couch, I'm like, <laughs> like and it's still, it, it's struggling to get to, to, to the 20 it's mark. It's struggling to get to 30. <laughs> Sounds like they're talking about my channel. I'm taking an offense because I think they're talking about me. We're going to get there. They got a platform of $665,000. You should at least hit 100000 Thousands of, listen to me, my husband got a hundred thousand. You, honey, hey. God damn Couldn't nobody have to say shit he was talking about. And he had all the tea. And she went on there with all the tea. What tea? And then she put it, she made it about her. That's what happened. What tea? Who are you? Who are you? What tea? That bitch shot up there lied. What? Who are you? Lied. Where did she come from? Where did she come from? Listen, if from she the wasn't big enough to have gone, they'd call you. Listen, if she wasn't big enough to have gone, they'd call you. Listen, if she wasn't big enough to have gone, they'd call you. Listen, if she wasn't big enough to have g
listen, when I was at work that day, remember she picked up that phone, she called you and had you on the phone with me. I was shocked. Like, how did she get in contact with you? You know, she's a stalker. So Shaka says, how did she get in contact with you? Jaguar says she's a stalker. Well, obviously, for DJ Genesis to have acquired that number, Jaguar must have given it to her. How else would she get it? And then again, maybe she got it from a mutual friend. Because if the person thinks that Genesis and Jaguar are still cool, she might pass on the number. So I guess you have to be very careful with that also when you of a perceived friend. You perceive them to be a friend, but they may think that you're a stalker. If you call them up to see how they're doing, maybe they find that to be a negative, that you're calling them too often, like once a week, to see how they are. And they may call it stalking if they don't like you. In the case of Jaguar and DJ Genesis, she viewed that as stalking. Who knew? I guess now DJ Genesis know that her friendship with Jaguar was one-sided. So Jaguar is not speaking truth at all. And these two are supposed to be friends. Even if you fall out with your friends, you shouldn't dog them out like this. Because, you know, karma comes around. You put out all this negativity about DJ Genesis is bound to come back to you, especially if a lot of what you're saying is a lie, yeah? Miss Jaguar, right? But that's how the relationship got back started, because you came over on Christmas Day. And the only reason I came over was to see y'all. I know, she thinks it was about her. No, I, I, only, I only came to see, I only came to see Aura, and then I came to see Aura and y'all. That's a fact. That's crazy, isn't it? How are you going to go to a person's house and say, I didn't come to see you. I came to see the people in your house. And that's that woman's house. If she wanted to see Shaka and his wife and their son, she should have met them at the McDonald's down the block. But don't go to this woman's house and want to tell her off in her own home and disrespect her and say, I didn't come to see you. I came to see Shaka and them. And then she says she came to see Genesis' daughter also. Well, how are you going to see the daughter and you hear the mama? That don't make no kind of sense. She's always she a trying to be her friend and trying to be her best when you was there for us. And that's what how could that possibly be, Jaka? So she would send me 50 text messages before I would say, okay. <laughs> Trust me, I know. That bitch would text me 80 million trillion times. I'd go through my own, I'd go through the other phone, my burner phone that I got. And I mean, literally, 50 text messages. And my response, three words. Call you later. Uh-huh. That is, it's just wild. Right. But I was thinking about the footage that we did for Dalladelphia. What, did you have that? No, real life is still holding it hostage. Oh, you asked them for you didn't get to Um, what they you know, when they came on on, on Ayasha page last night said they supposed to be giving me all my my shit. I called them. Uh, I was live online and see. You talking about Jonathan? I don't know from what I hear. He about to defect. Huh? That's what I heard on the low. Yo, mm. planning on leaving. Really? Uh, I mean, shit. I don't know why. Where you going? I told, <laughs> going I, told, I told him why he needed to leave last year. Uh, oh, you told him you, that was your suggestion. <laughs> you know, it, it's like, yeah, and then they get mad at me. For what? Let me count the ways. We got to tell you why? why people get mad at you, Jaguar. Let's count the ways. Why they get mad at you. Because I'm honest. They say no we oh, talk. Okay. They try to control the narrative. And it's crazy because the thing is, is there is no narrative. Hey, Nanette. You good? We just talking about oh, wow. her life. Solar don't sound like he feels good. Normally, he rushed to get on the camera. If Jaguar is on the camera, he rushing to get right in front, trying to get some camera time. But this time, no, honey. Solar is like, yeah, I'm good. 
Something is up. Wonder what's going on with Solar. They just happen to be a part of it by watching. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, and we ain't trying to do content. We ain't doing this for no content for no views. This is our life. We just have to talk about it. Y'all just gonna be a part of it. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. You got my new number. Uh, is it the one you called me from the other day? Possibly. But just send it to me anyway. Just hit me in the DM. I'm a, I'm, yeah, I'm going to throw it up. We, need, we should talk because I think I want y'all to be a part yeah, of it. We still got to say. I shoot the video because I got the song ready. What oh. we got left? Just because they stole it don't mean we ain't got nothing. We got everything. Well, you want to know what's so great about being Jaguar, right? You can always it's throw it up. <laughs> Anything that I create, I can do it again just better. You can take all that shit and do it, but you can't take away my voice. So what's up with that, guys? Why does Real Life Productions want to keep the videos that Jaguar made with them? Did she contract them to shoot a certain video, and then they have to release it to her for her Daladalfia network? If so... I would think that she would have to pay them for the release of the videos. Like, if they're going to shoot her a special type of taping for her show, she would have to pay them. She would contract them to do the shooting, and then she would have to pay them. Maybe that's why they haven't released the content to her as yet, because they're waiting for payment. I don't know. This is speculation. But I would think they're not going to do it for free. So Jaguar is not telling the whole story. <laughs> I just, we just re recording. We just gonna read through this shit. Yeah, it's already memorized now. The hook. It's even easier oh, the, the second time. <laughs> that goes to I just put it in front of the mic and have a little fun with it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Man, it's easier the second time because you know, man, you know, I did the hard part was getting it out the first time. Yeah. All right, well, I didn't have to do a whole lot of shit over. I'm gonna get ready to get out of here. I got a nephew on the roof. I- She says she got a nephew on the roof, referring to, I would think, Solar. I knew everything is not right with Solar. I told you guys he didn't get on the the live with her to say hello and to talk his ish. So something is up. Maybe he's going through a depression. For her to say, I got a nephew on the roof, I don't think she was speaking in jest. I think she was serious when she said she got a nephew on the roof, meaning that he's depressed. That's what I'm taking that to mean. You know, this is a time of year that people go through a lot of depression, especially if they don't have their loved ones close to them. Now, Solar have two young babies, and he's not with them for the holidays. So I'm sure he's going through a sadness, a grief, a depression. I got another nephew, so <laughs> These internet relations, honey, one minute they are as thick as thieves, the next minute they're as far between like night and day. Wasn't he advocating for her a couple of months ago and they were besties? Man, I missed a lot. Yeah. And they made a whole video acting like... (laughs) Oh, yeah. Shaka, 
Your voice is amazing. That's what they say, even if it's one person who said it. Boy, that was shade, Chaka. That was shade. I have some people who watched that video before it went down. No, I know. I'm just saying, you know, it don't take but one person. Yeah, I, I know, but that's not true. Oh, I know. I know. I've been rocking, I've been rocking you bells. Know, I've been rocking bells and warming hearts with this voice for over thirty years. Can I tell you enough? Forget about the rock and the voice for over thirty years. What's going on with the list? Do, do you guys know anything about Jaguar's list? I haven't looked at the show in a while. Did she have some type of surgery on her mouth or something? This list is is driving me crazy. But I ain't worried about that. If I made attention to a lot of liars, I'd have probably done something back to myself a long time ago if I had listened to everything that they said. Right, right. And that's what I tell y'all. Fuck what they say. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Just Give keep good going. to that beautiful wife of hers with that lovely apple bottom. <laughs> Shaka wife said, oh, Lord. What you doing looking at a woman's bottom, Jaguar? What you, oh, I forgot, you're bisexual. Shaka, keep her away from your wife, honey. She looking a little too hard. She noticed the woman got an apple bottom. That's a little too, that's what you call TMI. Too much information, Jaguar, stay away from that man's woman, that man's wife. You look, because I think she's single still, right? Jaguar is single, so she looking, honey. Chakra, be careful. Said, oh, Lord. Said, well, look, he said, you know I done felt it out of time. What? Out of time, I'm a What? <laughs> she said she felt it and she tried it for herself. What kind of wild-ish is going on the ex-Carbon Nation members? Jaguar, you're spilling all the tea. Did you have a menage a trois with Shaka's wife, or were you just squeezing the melons just to see how soft they were? Now, the question is, Jaguar, right, Johnson? Was that the only thing you squeezed? Huh? Was that the only thing you squeezed on that woman? Just her derriere? Or did you go to the front? That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to mention any more body parts. Shaka was laughing too hard. Then he said he knew it was going to get out someday or sometime or whatever. But he said, he said he knew it was going to get out. So that told me right away that a little more went on than just squeezing of the derriere. I don't know what, but it's mighty suspicious. But what I don't understand is why Shaka seems to think it's funny. Because this woman made a move on your wife. Anytime a woman steps up to your significant other, whether it's your wife or your girlfriend, and they put their hands on that person to squeeze their derriere. And no telling what else they were squeezing, that's a move. They're making a move on that person. But like I said before, ex-Carbon Nation members, a lot of them don't see the big deal in, you know, them sleeping with somebody else's spouse or mate or, you know, polygamy is something they embrace. Most of them embrace that. So which is it? She said they can't take a joke and they can't take the truth. So which is it? Is it true or a joke? That's up to your you guys' interpretation. Jaguar is not admitting to the truth or a joke. So I guess it's up to you guys to figure out which is it. They can't handle it. You can't handle the truth. Guess what? We just gonna keep giving what? it to them. Fuck them. Stay in touch. I think Jaguar said a little too much and she had to reel it back. Remember, these people embrace a polygamous lifestyle. So for Jaguar to make a move on Chaka's wife, it's not a big deal to him because he embraced that type of lifestyle. He said he tried Velvet and Velvet is married to the leader of Carbonation. And he made a move on her and got through and they had a one night stand. That's what he said with his interview on Real Life Productions. So it's not a surprise to me that Jaguar wanted to get all involved in that group and their activity because 
I remember when she did that interview with Elegio Bishop, and she was looking at him like if she wanted to be a part of it all. That's what it looked like to me. She wasn't even interviewing him hard, like how um, Nosy Hoax was interviewing him, and what's her name, Tokyo Tony, was getting hard under his skin. She wasn't doing that. She was just sitting there kind of admiring him. And I said, Jaguar wants to be a part of this organization. And I remember months ago, she wanted to start up a new group for all the disenfranchised people who came out of Carbon Nation. She wanted to start up Carbon Island and she'd be the high priestess. So she wanted to start her own cult. So I say all that to say this. I'm not surprised that Jaguar made a move on Shaka's wife. I'm not surprised that he didn't see anything wrong with it. And I'm not surprised that his wife allowed it to go down. So on that note, guys, I'm over and now. Don't forget to hit the like bell. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.